individual black holes could reach up to 100 tons, but their size isn't more than an atom. Such a small diameter gives rise to a correspondingly small event horizon, a hypothetical line beyond which space and time are bent, and matter begins to be absorbed and torn apart by atoms. For this reason, the mini black hole can't devour even the bacteria on your dining table. But even if it starts to eat our home planet, it would take a very long time. However, if the diameter of a mini black hole increases to a size visible to the naked eye, events would turn out completely differently. But according to calculations, a black hole with a diameter of one millimeter would have a mass of more than five lunar masses combined, which is about 11% of the Earth's mass. The scale of the influence of a black hole depends on where it's located, on the surface of the Earth or in the center of the planet, or one millimeter in size is located on the surface of the Earth. The sphere of influence of a black hole would be about a third of the Earth's radius. That's 2,124 kilometers. This would lead to a noticeable increase in the overall gravity of the Earth which in turn would affect the orbit of the Moon. It would stray off its current course and begin to move into an elliptical orbit. It would absorb everything and reach the center of the Earth in just 42 minutes. If its relative speed is at least 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles per second, it would rotate around the Earth along with its sphere of gravitational influence. With each circle, the Earth would lose mass. Thus, the black hole would begin its meal, absorbing the crust and most of the mantle, like sugar during the creation of cotton candy, and our planet would turn into just a broken disk of hot stone. It's assumed that it would have a temperature of about 6,000 Kelvin, approximately like the Earth's core or the surface of the Sun. Scientists believe that the space monster would take 5 billion years to finally eat our home planet.